This is Common, and you're checking out Inside CPS. Y'all stay in tune and stay in school, too. Welcome back to Inside CPS. I'm your host, Jessica Perez. Today, we focus on engaged families and outstanding teachers. You'll see the new way CPS is reaching out to parents and meet Diana Jemison, a first grade teacher whose personal connection with families makes all the difference for her students. We also talk to Academy Award winner Common, who visited Dunbar to congratulate honor students. But first, National Board Certification is the most respected professional certification available in education and provides numerous benefits to teachers, students, and schools. I am so proud to say that there are now more than 2,200 National Board Certified teachers working in Chicago Public Schools. This is more than in any urban school system in the country. Sorry about that. It's so many wonderful things about this program and you learn so much in terms of how to just be there to better uh, build the community around you as well as the classroom to make sure that our children are getting the entire, all of their needs met because there's so many different things that the children need. So with that being said, I just wanted to make sure that I was fulfilling myself as a teacher and, and prepared so that I can help them along their way. This demonstrates our relentless commitment to the children of Chicago. We want them to achieve their dreams, and we know that as teachers, as educators, our work is never done. It was a lot of work, but it was the most rewarding thing I've ever done in my life. I would totally do it again. I will do it again in 10 years when I recertify. The most valuable lesson that I've learned in this process has been that it's, it's never too late, and really all you need is effort and not ability. And that's something that I like to, to try to show my students, that effort is needed more than ability. So congratulations again on your success. Thank you for your dedication to the profession and for every student and every parent who may forget or who may not have had the opportunity, I say thank you, thank you, thank you. Show me an engaged parent and I'll show you a thriving child. I'm Barbara Bird Bennett, CEO of Chicago Public Schools, and I'm proud of our district's commitment to lifelong learning. At CPS, we're investing not only in our students, but in the success and the well-being of their families. Through Parent University, we're empowering our parents to enrich their lives. We give them the resources to continue their education and to develop marketable skills, skills that will be helpful to them in the 21st century economy. And as their confidence and their ambition grows, so does that of the children. More often than not, students who do well in schools have an engaged parent looking over their shoulder. When students and parents learn side by side, this engagement level grows. When they see their parents excited about education, it makes students want to stay in school and to do well. This is the best gift a parent can give to their child. Our district recently launched three parent university sites in Austin, Englewood, and Humble Park communities. Parents, please come and explore these learning centers. Embrace this opportunity, not just for yourselves, but for your children. Today's teacher feature is about Ms. Jemison, my first grade teacher at Keller Elementary. Oh, I know who I'd be. Who would you be? Julie. Julie. As a teacher, my goal is for the students to all get a joy and passion for learning. And once they do that, you'll start to see them just soar. <coughs> no, not the sign. My name is Diana Jemison, and I have been teaching at Keller for 13 years now. I currently teach first grade. I'm passionate about teaching first grade because the students come in with a wealth of information, a wealth of knowledge, and it's my job as a teacher to facilitate it. Ms. Jemison is really special because she teaches a lot of things that we don't know and we really wanted to know about. She is a teacher that gets to the heart of the matter. She's very closely aligned and in tune with the parents and the students' needs. And when she's working with them, she's always looking to make sure that every student reaches their absolute highest potential in a very personalized way. She is kind and sometimes humorous, but she's also very specific. Anything that you think is important, 
or you don't have to highlight at all. You set those expectations for children no matter what level that they are and they are going to reach those expectations because they want to make you happy. When you can focus in on what's unique to them and focus in on their abilities, then what you get are a bunch of happy students that are okay with being who they are and not trying to conform to the other children around them and they have a learning community where now they're learning from each other and not just me. She makes the kids feel special. She makes each and every one of them feel special and cared about and loved and safe and if there's an issue, my daughter now even at 12 knows she can go to Miss Jemison. Miss Jemison was my first grade teacher and the one thing that I loved about her was she was very caring and whenever I was having a bad day or I was sad, she'd always give me like a huge hug and be like, it's okay. One of the things that I really appreciate as a parent and what I thought made her unique from a parent's perspective uh, is the way she encouraged and involved parents. She stops you at the door, she takes time to stop you when you're picking up your child to tell you about their day, to listen if you have any questions or any concerns. Um, she asks about their extracurricular activities. She even comes out to some of their extracurricular activities. Being a parent myself, it is so important to build relationships with families because you're trusting me with your most precious possession, your child. And parents need to feel comfortable. We need to have an open communication going. We're both here for the best interest of the child. So we do need those phone conversations at home and those emails just to know how that child was doing today, whether they had a good or bad day. Is there something going on at home? Because when I have that information, it's easier for me to come to work and make sure that my children are happy and that they have a love for education. Upon meeting her, I knew that this teacher um, it might possibly be one of the best teachers Brennan will ever have in his academic career. Thank you for teaching me. Without further ado, give Mr. Common a round of applause. And I want to give you love for that. And whoever hollered out, they love me, I love y'all back. Things like we're doing today helps instill in those children that doing a positive thing does show rewards, and they will be celebrated. Okay, whatever you want to accomplish in life, you can't accomplish, but it's going to have to be bigger than you. You're going to find something that's, that's purposeful in your life that's going to not only take you to the highest level, but you're going to actually start inspiring others to be the greatest. God gave us a life. And you can't be willing to dim your life. I'm life. from the South Side. I'm from Chicago. I care about our youth. I care about the students. I want, I want to see them flourish at the highest level. I want to see them achieve all the things that they envision them for themselves. The Common has consistently done school visits throughout Chicago over the years. So this is really just a continuation of, of what he naturally does. To see somebody from the streets that they actually come from, to go to the heights that he has, it's a major influence. And we're hoping that this kind of uh, presence, if you will, shows them that anything is possible if they just keep going forward. Continue to believe in yourself and, and continue to just live, live in the life knowing that what you're doing is bigger than you, knowing it's greater than you, and knowing that you have it in you. I'm common, God bless you. And here's the latest in CPS news. Congratulations to the Uplift Titans, who recently won a state championship for Class 2A boys basketball, and to the Morgan Park Mustangs, who placed third in Class 3A. Congrats also to the Special Olympics basketball players from Burbank, Graham, Southside Occupational Center, Vaughn, and Curie, who all placed first in the team and individual competitions at Illinois State University. And in wrestling, the Uplift Lady Titans captured a state championship at the National Girls Wrestling Tournament, while Bowen senior Brandon Peacock became just the third CPS student in 25 years to win a state championship for wrestling. Preschool families, remember that applications are now being accepted for Chicago Ready to Learn, the district's school-based early childhood education programs. Visit www.cps.edu backslash ready to learn for more information. And that's a wrap for Inside CPS. Join us next time and remember to send your story ideas and feedback to spotlight at cps.edu. Thank <laughs> you.